What is going on? It is Nate the Game Guy coming back with another video at hand. And today I want to take a look at some Xbox 360 exclusives that I do consider to be very underrated. Take a look at some hidden gems and take a look at some of these games that unfortunately did not receive the spotlight that they deserve back in the day. When coming up with this list, I did not rank these games in any way, shape, or form. This is not a top five, top ten, worst to best, or best to worst of any of these underrated gems these are just games that i consider to be underrated that frankly should have received more attention but they just simply did not also with the games on this list i'm not really going to focus on if these games were also on pc or not i'm only going to be focusing that these games are exclusive on xbox 360 when compared to playstation 3 wii and such so without further ado let's jump right into the video take a look at some of these games right after the intro So the first game I want to talk about on the list is Beautiful Katamari. Now I'm a big fan of the Katamari games. I love just its weird randomness and I just enjoy the fact that you have this giant ball that you're rolling around and you're just making it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger as you're just rolling up different things and how you start from like picking up like little small things like paper clips and all that and then eventually you're like rolling up entire skyscrapers and you're just watching this behemoth of a ball just like grow bigger and bigger and bigger for those that have never played a katamari game before i essentially just mentioned the entire premise of each level basically you have a ball you roll it around pick up stuff and you just make it bigger and bigger and interestingly with this game this is the only katamari game that's an exclusive title to an xbox console most katamari games have been on playstation consoles and more recently on to nintendo consoles as well so it is pretty interesting to see a Katamari game that did become an exclusive title on the Xbox considering that the Xbox brand over in Japan is not a popular brand of choice but nevertheless it is still a fun game to play and for those that are into the Katamari series already this is a game that happened to fly under the radar simply just because it was on Xbox 360 or if for some reason you haven't played a Katamari game yet but you happen to have a 360 or whatever this is a game that is worth checking out and it is a game that I do consider pretty underrated because I do have to say out of all the Katamari games, this one seems to have flown quite a bit under the radar when compared to other Katamari titles two games I want to talk about are the Crackdown games. More specifically, the original Crackdown and Crackdown 2. The Crackdown games are open world games where essentially you are running around taking out different factions, zombies, depending on which Crackdown game that you're playing, and you are trying to from these opposing forces. What's really nice about these games is that you have all these different things to level up about with your character, such as agility, driving skills, weapon skills, and I consider the games to be just a load of fun. Now, interestingly, there have been people that have criticized the game for being mundane and repetitive, but me personally, I find the gameplay to be very addictive. And I'm very surprised, too, that not very many people talk about it as much when talking about fun, exclusive titles on the Xbox 360. Because me personally, I feel like the Crackdown games are really up there. Sure, they don't have the iconic stories of Halo, Gears of war but what i can say is that these games were a ton of fun and i will say when looking at underrated xbox 360 titles the crackdown games always come to mind when i think of underrated 360 exclusives now, one game I consider to be absolutely criminal for the fact that it did not get the recognition it deserved back in the day was Viva Pinata. I spent so many hours playing Viva Pinata back in the day. Essentially, what this game is all about is you have a garden and you are trying to attract different pinatas and you are doing is creating your garden to make it look nice and pretty and all that while also collecting different pinatas to be residents of your garden to attract these pinatas pinatas you either have to have different plants layouts in your garden sometimes have different pinatas in your garden and it's just a load of 
fun. I spent so many hours playing this game back in its day because I just found the game to be a load of fun. If you happen to find games such as The Sims to be fun, but you're looking for something with a completely different take, I would recommend checking out Viva Pinata sometime. For those that happen to have an Xbox One, you can also pick this game up through the Rare Replay Collection, which is another recommendation that I will give in mind just because not only does it come with Viva Pinata, but it comes with a host of other phenomenal games by Rare on there. But either way, how you decide to pick it up, it is still nevertheless a game that is truly underrated and should deserve more recognition. And speaking about games made by Rare, I'm going to talk about Perfect Dark Zero. Now it is no doubt that the original Perfect Dark was a classic and was really fun on the Nintendo 64 back in the day. However, with this 360 launch title, Perfect Dark Zero, I'm surprised, doesn't get more recognition. Sure, I will make the argument that it's not as iconic and not as good as like the Halo series on the 360, but I will say for a game for what it is, I had a lot of fun playing it back in the day and what i like about this game too is even in multiplayer matches where you would just have bots to play against i feel like the way that rare programmed the bots they made the bots seem very realistic i felt like they played very similar to real players and i thought that the game was just very fun i liked its weapon selection i liked its overall gameplay very surprised that not very many people talk about it so this is a game that i do consider to be underrated and thankfully this is another game that you can get along with the rare replay collection so no matter which way that you decide to pick up the game it is still a game worth checking out being the first game on this list straight off of the Xbox Marketplace and being a really fun racing game too is Hydro Thunder Hurricane. It has been many years since the original Hydro Thunder came out back on the Dreamcast, 64, PlayStation 1, and in the arcades. It wouldn't be until 2010 that there would be a brand new Hydro Thunder game. And this game was pretty fun. Sure, I can make the argument that it's not as good and as enjoyable as the original Hydro Thunder, but I do consider the game to be good enough that it shouldn't have been ignored and should have deserved more attention back in its day. Of course, just like the original Hydro Thunder, you have your arcade racing gameplay added to it, but of course you have other modes added to it, such as Gauntlet and also being able to drive through the rings. And for a game that is only $10, I do consider the game an easy pickup because like I said, very fun, it is enjoyable, of course, not as good as the original Hydro Thunder, but just because it's not as good as the original, I'm going to say that doesn't necessarily mean that it should be ignored. Now, when I think of anime-themed exclusive games, I normally think of games that are on PlayStation 3, PS4, PS5, all that good stuff, right? I normally don't think Xbox. However, in this case, I want to take a look at this underrated game, Naruto Rise of Ninja. As stated from before, this game is an exclusive title that is anime-themed. And what's really nice about this game is I really like its solid gameplay because I did find it to be really fun. I also like the fact that it sticks to the story of the anime considering that i am also a fan of naruto myself that is a big plus now i do remember a while ago that this game was easily a 50 dollar game complete in box but of course before recording i did check to see how much the game goes for now on price charting and i do see that the game has dropped on average to be about half of its cib price so if you are a fan of naruto you've got yourself a 360 and you're looking for an underrated gem, this would be a game that I would strongly recommend checking out. Now with this game, this is another launch title for the Xbox 360 back when it came out in 2005, and this game is full auto. Full auto is ridiculously fun. This game is essentially as if you take twisted metal and put it together with burnout and you get full auto 
Auto. It's a really fun game. I like its cars. I like its weapon selection. I like the fact that you get to use your weapons to take down your opponent, try to get to first place, get to the finish. It's an overall very fun game. It is unfortunate that this game does not get the recognition it deserves. Very fun game. And if this is a game that you haven't checked out and you like the Burnout series and you like Twisted Metal, this is a game that I really recommend those to pick up a copy, pop it in the 360, and have yourself a go. Sticking to the theme of racing when it comes to underrated games with a lot less destruction is Joyride Turbo. Now this game is off the Xbox Marketplace and I can't see why this game did fly under the radar but what I can say is that this game is a really fun kart racer. I like the fact that you have these different cars that you can unlock through the game by collecting different pieces scattered throughout the track that are hidden throughout and I just really enjoy the game. For those that were achievement hunters hunters back in the day. I'm sure those achievement hunters had a lot of fun because there are some achievements that are pretty easy, but of course there are some achievements that you do have to grind out and work towards. For those that wanted to play a game a lot like Mario Kart, but just had an Xbox 360 back in the day, this was a game that I would say was worth considering the pickup. Gotta say it is a very fun racing game. Now with this game, I wanted to separate it from the other games onto the list because it is a relatively special case for this video. This game once was a Xbox 360 exclusive, but a year later, it would also get a release onto the PlayStation 3, and that is Eternal Sonata. This game is heavily underrated. It is a great JRPG to check out for those that are into JRPGs. Basically, this game is themed all around the music composer, Frederick Chopin pan and classical music in general. It also has a really nice art style to it and I had a lot of fun playing it back in the day. This game is a bit of a mishmash when it comes to an action RPG along with your traditional RPG as well. A lot of people did criticize the game too for it being very linear because as you would move forward through the game you unfortunately are not able to trace backwards. Me personally that is something that doesn't bother me at all. Like I said since this game was released onto the PlayStation 3 a year later, but was originally a 360 exclusive. I just wanted to separate it from the other games on the list, but give it a special shout out is because this game does deserve more recognition. Like I said, very creative, very fun. Go check it out. All right, and that is going to conclude my list of underrated Xbox 360 exclusives. What do you guys think of the list? Any games that you agree with, disagree with, or are there any games that you were hoping to be on the list that didn't make it? Keep in mind, if I didn't mention it, there's probably a very good chance that I just haven't played it yet. So if there are any games that you hope to be on the list, feel free to comment in the comment section down below. I would love to know what you guys consider to be underrated 360 exclusives. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a like. It helps boost it up into the YouTube algorithm so more viewers such as you can find videos just like this. And of course, please do consider subscribing. I post a lot of content when it comes to game collecting game collecting tips, game related subjects. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, please do consider subscribing. But if you're going to subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell notification button. So that way you will be notified when I upload a video such like this. Hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll be seeing you guys next time.